Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get straight into the recap and review of Summer House Martha's Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 3. So it starts off with Nick still talking to Summer and Jordan about his handsiness when he's drinking. I don't think he's a creep and they also agreed that he's not a creep, but he can be really handsy when he's drinking. So I'm happy they were able to address that. And now in the future, he knows to just keep his hands to himself. But I think there is more to say about his demeanor around all the girls. I just think he's very disrespectful to his girlfriend. But I mean, if she saw season one, saw how he was sliding into those girls DMs and she didn't have a problem with it, then I mean, so be it, girl. Keep your man. But I do think he is disrespectful in more than one way. We see Shanice talking to her mom on the phone about Summer and I honestly did not realize they had not squashed the beef when Summer had came in to ask about her jacket, borrowing a jacket. I thought it had all been worked out then and they had talked about it maybe off camera since she did joke about why would you want to borrow a jacket from somebody with bad style. So I didn't realize they were still continuing this and just not addressing it. But she told her mom that she felt like Summer was jealous of her. And she did mention this last episode too because of some conversations they had in Jamaica. I don't know if I think Summer is technically jealous of her particularly. But I mean, a woman's intuition, you know, you know what you know. You can pick up vibes from people and she could be jealous. But I don't think that comment technically may have been made out of jealousy. Maybe it was just added on to other shade that she has already thrown. Noelle finally starts flirting with Alex and I'm so happy she decided to just dismiss Summer because Summer gave you the okay and said they were just friends and they were just hanging out and she doesn't owe you an explanation. I don't know if Summer understands what the word hang out means. But it sure does not mean hook up. Like those are two different words. Like if a friend told me they just hung out with the guy, I'm not understanding that y'all were anything more than that because that can mean so many things. Hook up, dating, those are all different words. So why would you specifically say hang out? That means y'all were nothing. That means you could have had a crush, but it amounted to nothing because having a crush on somebody in dating like I think it's two different types of rules for it because like how deep was the crush and if you told her you don't care and to go ahead like I mean you gave her permission so you can't be mad at her so I'm happy Noelle realized Summer was just full of BS and to just go ahead and do what she wanted. It was Shanice's time to throw her party and I am not shocked that it was a good party. Like the girl knows how to party if she doesn't know how to do anything else. So everybody had a good time. There was no arguing. It was all good vibes. She had two friends show up for the party, which I was kind of shocked by because we didn't see any type of meetings or discussions about them beforehand. So I was a little confused after how much drama happened last season with guests. But I mean, they just came for the night. And Noel starts flirting with the birthday boy. I think his name was Hendrix, the birthday boy. And so Alex is just sitting there kind of side eyeing the interactions because, you know, Noel has started flirting with him and now she's flirting with this other guy in front of him and she's like it's summertime I'm single I'm trying to have a good time which is fine because they are single and they haven't really established a connection yet so I mean if you want to flirt flirt do what your single self wants to do I just thought it was super funny watching Alex side eye them the whole time the next morning Shanice and Jordan talked I'm really shocked that Jordan kind of bad mouths her friend for making out or getting inappropriate with her fave bartender in front of her apartment. But she did say it was her fave bartender. So I'm wondering, like, did they all go out? Was Summer drunk? Like, what were the actual, like, situation around what was happening? Because, I mean, if she was drunk, then, I mean, that's one thing. But if she was sober and just acting a fool in front of your apartment complex, then, yeah, that's another thing. But at the same time, I just don't get good vibes from Jordan. The way 
she just completely dismissed Jasmine after years and years of friendship. And then you want to attach on to Summer after only knowing her for 15 days and just ditching your longtime friend. And now you're also bad mouthing her. Like those are the girls that do not make good friends. Like they are not going to have your back. And at any moment they can just ditch you. And they're going to have all this stuff to talk about you. But they never actually brought it up to your face. Like they just, I don't trust friends that just like talk about you behind your back to other friends. But then want to smile on your face and act like everything's cool. Like that's just, that's weird to me. That's weird behavior. Preston, Amir, Noel, and Bria talk on the way to the grocery store. Noel is a true Southern girl. I thought she was originally a fun time girl, but I think she just likes to flirt and have fun without going all the way which I completely understand, but they discussed Alex. I do think Alex is quiet and mysterious, and I think he's into Noel, but Summer may hold him back. Like, you can tell when him and Noel were talking in the kitchen and Summer walked in looking for her phone. Girl, you know where your phone is at, first of all, but you could tell his whole demeanor changed. So sometimes the drama is just not worth it. I also think it would completely send Summer over the edge if he was to get with Noel, just to know that he is potentially thinking about having something more with Noel. But I think that is why he is considering it so thoroughly because he ruined the relationship with Summer. So there's no need to go and ruin another relationship or friendship rather, if it's not going to be anything more than just physical, because you can get physical with people who are not your friends keep your friendships separate like unless it's an actual relationship just don't try to mix that especially because this show is kind of like business too so if he has to keep coming back to this house year after year we already see how summer's treating him I don't think he wants the drama of multiple girls in the house coming after him like that and Preston also said that he thinks summer doesn't care I begs a differ that girl cares a lot she she overly cares. Thank you. Jasmine, Summer, and Jordan stayed back at the house and discussed people coming to visit. I'm so glad they are more open this year. Like, after all, it is vacation. Have fun. Like, they were so uptight last year. So I'm happy they are open to more people coming in and just having a good time. But I do think they need to ask Bria about Mariah coming first. Just because Jasmine and her made up means nothing. Like she put her hands on Bria. But at the same time, I can't figure out what is the difference between Mariah putting her hands on Bria and Summer putting her hands on Bria. Like I don't understand why Bria has a problem with one of them and not a problem with the other one. I think Phil should never even be considered back though. Like, how are you a grown man acting like that? Like, that was just so atrocious. Like, I don't even, yeah, maybe a high schooler would act like that. But like, you're a grown man. You should not have been acting like that, even if you were drunk. Like, that was such deranged behavior. Noel brings Alex a sandwich back from the grocery store, a vegan sandwich. So she was really thinking about him and, you know, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So, I mean, that is just the Southern belt in her. But it was the way Summer turned around when she heard that Noel had brought him a sandwich. Like, it was just too funny to me. But, I mean, that is Southern Bells for you. Like, we are just wifey material, but maybe I am a little bit biased. But she gives the sandwich to him. He said he doesn't like tofu, but A for effort. Summer's like, that is so cringe. That's why I want you to have him. Girl, no, announcing that he's been inside of you at the dinner table, that is cringe. That is cringe. Buying something for somebody and them being an unappreciative prick, that is not cringe. That That's on him for not appreciating her efforts, but whatever. And honestly, that may just be his mannerisms. Like, he's hot. But he still may be awkward. Like, I don't know why people always feel like hot people are not awkward. Like, I think that's why they think he's so weird. But he may just be genuinely awkward and quiet. I don't know why they aren't just thinking about that. Like, they want to say he's weird. But I don't I don't think he's weird. I just think that's his mannerisms. But he still will remember this gesture either way. And he still ate the sandwich. So, I mean, I think she did good. 
they had a house meeting about other people coming to visit and they brought up Phil and Mariah. I am shocked Shanice and Bria even thought everyone would be okay with Phil. Like the difference between Mariah and Phil, Phil insulted the whole house. Like I can understand Bria being upset about Mariah, but that's a personal offense to just you. You know it's bad when Alex says y'all will see another side of him. But they end the meeting and Bria decided to be the bigger person and agreed to Mariah coming. And Preston broke down from the comments Phil said last year. I'm not sure honestly if Phil even knew Preston was gay. And I don't remember him reacting last season. So I didn't know it bothered him. But I understand trigger words can bring back a lot of memories even if the person doesn't mean them in that way. Bria and Shanice called Phil. He was super calm. He claims he doesn't remember, but the next morning you were still turned up. So that's the part where you should have been like remorseful and apologizing. Like you can't come back a year later and be like, actually, I want to come back and redeem myself. Like, no, you showed your full behind on national TV and that's just how we're going to remember you. You never go to a place where you are meeting new people already drunk like this is a first impression and I'm sure this is not the first time you have acted like this drunk like we all have different personalities that come out when we are drunk and we should all know that personality already and you should have known that is not how you should be approaching people for the first time because these people do not know you and your drunk persona is crazy you should know I need to keep the crazy locked away for a good minute until these people start liking me first. Like, you do not show up like that. That was a horrible first impression, and you should not be surprised. Now, Phil said Mariah said not to tell them that she's coming, and Jasmine is flying her out like they have already bought the tickets, and she was coming on the first. So regardless of the vote, she was coming. Like, you cannot do that jasmine really said is better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission because why would you do that especially if you knew there was going to be problems why would you do that that's like if shanice and bria had just went on and had phil come knock on the door outside and be like oh well he's here are y'all okay with him coming in like you can't do that so bria is brewing from that new information of Jasmine trying to be sneaky behind her back. Jordan cried about her hair to Summer, which I completely understand. Hair is such an important part of your appearance and you want to be able to walk confidently into rooms. So I wish her the best of luck with her journey on dealing with that. So they make it to dinner and you can just see Bria brewing like I'm surprised she has stayed calm this long. So she finally addresses to Jasmine like why did you bring it to the group if you had already bought her plane tickets and Jasmine tried to lie to her and say she just bought them last night but then they brought up the receipts and the ticket had been bought days before she ever brought it to the group. So I don't know why she's lying to her face. But I'm glad Bria let them know Mariah was coming with a plan and not to blame them later because I know they would try them, I, especially Bria. They love gaslighting Bria and somehow it would have became her problem. But I'm happy Jordan stood up for Bria because nobody ever considers her feelings. Like truly, like I know it's like the way she addresses things, like it can be a little bit bratish, but most of the time she, she is right. And I think nobody even like stops to think about what she's saying just because of the way she says it. But yeah, Jasmine planned this whole thing behind everyone's back. And now your friend has something up her sleeve and she's coming to cause chaos and you need to own that. But then Summer, Summer just needs to be quiet. Like her commentary is always just so off the rocket. Like I just, I can't. She said everybody needs to have a common respect. A common respect is for every is to run it by everybody before you order the tickets. You don't order the tickets and then run it by everybody because that's saying, well, she was going to come regardless of what y'all said. And I know Jasmine was like, well, you know how tickets work. It could have been canceled. You probably bought a ticket that was non-refundable. Let's be for real. It was probably non-refundable. So don't even go there because if you really cared like that, 
you would have waited and then bought the ticket. So you knew she was coming regardless. And you knew she didn't want to tell y'all. But I guess because they had already brought up Phil, you thought "Mm, maybe I should go ahead and bring up Mariah while we're at it before she just shows up at the door. Summer decides to talk to Shanice in front of everybody. I don't know why. Like, she could have did this in private instead of at the dinner table. Like, girl, you need to stop having conversations at the dinner table because they just do not go well for you. So somebody laughs during her um, speech and she's just, she snaps. She's like, this isn't funny. And then Jordan said something about, I wasn't laughing and she's like I wasn't talking to you I mean like it escalated so fast I was just really trying to keep up with what was going on because like I don't understand how Jordan thought she was talking to her and why she started yelling back at her at summer I was I was so beyond lost like y'all are so tense calm down I truly don't understand how y'all can be so uptight on vacation but Bria decides to get up and leave and she goes home and Preston, Preston throws so much shade on her. At this point, just say you don't like Priya. Just say you don't like her and she is not your friend. Like, I cannot stand every single time he throws shade at her. Like, why do you have such a problem with her expressing her emotions? Like, there's nothing wrong with getting up and leaving a situation. If she needs to leave a hundred times because y'all are on mess a hundred percent of the time, then let her leave. Like, not everybody has to sit up there and deal with your BS. It is okay to leave. That is called protecting your energy. So I don't know why he has such a problem with the way she wants to live her life. Like, why are you so pressed about it? Like, that aggravates me because, like, why are you acting like her friend but constantly throwing shade at her? That is so shady and two-faced. I cannot stand friends like that. I also observed that Noelle barely talks to Summer at this point. Like, I genuinely forget that she came in with Summer because they just don't talk like I don't know if it's the Alex situation I don't know if it's because Noelle barely knew her because Noelle has said some things about like oh I'm starting to see her like in a new light or whatever or why did she throw shade on Shanice like that so it's like why would you bring somebody on a trip that you barely know and now she's just now getting to know you in the house And now it's like, y'all really don't like each other. So you brought this girl, but y'all really don't like each other. So I just thought that was a little interesting. But I mean, it's kind of similar to the situation with Jordan, Jasmine and Summer. So Noelle's just doing the same thing to Summer. She's finding her own friends in the house and ditching Summer. So Summer expressed herself to the group while Jordan was away about how Jordan is always able to speak meanly to people, but it's always an issue when Summer like speaks in a certain way to um, her or to other people. And honestly, some people can dish it, but they cannot take it. I mean, that is a hard lesson to learn, but that that is the truth. Like y'all both speak a kind of way. And I just think y'all don't realize it from yourself, but you can realize it in the other person. But when Jordan got back to the table, they were still talking about it. So I'm not sure why they didn't just go ahead and address it. Because I mean, y'all are still new friends. Y'all are still in the new friend stage. You still need to get to know people's mannerisms, their personalities. How do they handle different situations and different emotions? And that can take a long time. But communication is going to help that a lot. So I really wish they had just sat down right there while they were already talking about it because there's no way Jordan didn't know they were talking about it and just went on, addressed it, squashed it. It could have been a simple conversation if it had to happen right there. When you just let things go and go and go, it's just going to bake in the oven until the oven explodes. Like you go ahead and address it. Do not hold on to it. They get to the club and Alex starts flirting with this girl and Noelle was upset by it. Yet you flirted with Shanice's friend right in front of him just last night. So Alex and Noelle sit down and talk and I knew he wouldn't want the drama with Summer, but he was flirting with her. But you can't take flirting and be like, why are you acting single? Because he is single like that. That's not your man. And He's doing the same thing you were doing just last night. And honestly, from hearing her talk 
and then hearing his reaction but also hearing what he told like Amir and what he said in his confessional I feel like he might have been into her and then issue one was no was summer and having to deal with summer's drama and if things didn't go right with Noel what would happen for the future of the house if they were all to come back but then to sit down and hear her talk which it could have been like all the drinks she had it could have been liquid courage like a mirror somebody said but to hear somebody talking like why are you acting single when we have done nothing more but flirt I can understand why he got freaked out by that and he said he's been in situations like that before I'm sure he was talking about Summer because he has not clarified a single thing with any of y'all and y'all are just putting so much pressure on him and just think this man is your man and he has not explicitly said that. So maybe Summer and Noel have a lot more in common than they think. When they got back to the house, Summer and Jordan tried to talk about it in the car before they went inside. But it escalated so quickly. Like I said, they should have had this talk at the restaurant. You do not get drunk and then try to talk to somebody about something so serious. But that argument seemed like a lot more was going on because I just couldn't understand how it escalated so fast. Like I don't even think they knew what they were arguing about. But I guess we're going to have to finish the argument next time episode next week because they left off on a cliffhanger and that is the end of this recap and review please let me know down below what were your thoughts on this episode please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one